January 29th special select board meeting to order. Uh, with us tonight on my left is Flo Smith and Joe Staub. On my right is Tor Nelson and Carla D. Weasel. With us also is Callie Streeter, town treasurer. I'm Brad Town. And uh, any additions to it? Uh, yes, we have two. Uh, first, we do have warrants to be signed tonight. And also, I have a bunch of signatures on documents I need everybody to sign. Okay. Uh, public comment. Is this the only opportunity to comment on? On what? Oh, 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 are we commenting on everything now, or? Oh, you can if you want. Oh, okay. I, do, I don't want to jump the gun. No, no. Um, I, I'm reading this. I have no problem with the 1% tax. Yeah. I didn't hear what he said. Did you just say the one percent tax? I'm oh, sorry. For the, for Could you repeat that? Tax. Tax. Yeah, I have. I, I didn't hear what you said earlier about earlier. Well, I just asked him about the uh, what was on the uh, for the uh, special meeting for the hearing. Oh, okay. Because when you set up public comment, I don't know if this is the only opportunity yeah. to speak. No, well, if you don't speak, speak. Oh, so just go ahead and speak. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to jump the gun here. Right. I don't know the process. <laughs> Um, I don't have a problem with the 1% tax, um, and I, I'm looking, I was reading the, um, you were in the paper yesterday about the, the property taxes and trying to make cuts and everything, and I can appreciate all the pro property taxes and all, all the things that you're doing trying to keep that down. Um, I have a, an issue that's a different concern, though, about this building that we're doing down at the town center. And I have a question about that. Is it appropriate to sure. ask about that now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, my concern is watching what's going on globally and watching the migration that's coming across the border and watching people being shipped here and there and everywhere and deals being cut to bring um, people into hotels and getting paid by the federal government. Is there anything that we can do proactively to prevent a situation where a deal will be cut if this building gets built down there at the town center so that we don't wind up in a situation where we have completely unvetted people coming into the town? Um, clarification. The buildings in the town center are mostly commercial. The hotel that was talked about is over at Comfort Inn. Okay. They are going to add uh, extended stay, was it 90 rooms? 90 to 100, yeah. Yeah, rooms of extended stay. Okay. Are you, are you, yeah, are you talking about, about Fox Run? Fox Run. No. Uh, I'm just talking about in general in terms of what I'm seeing going on globally with this situation with the migration. Where, like, you look at, take a look at New York City, and they're filling up all the hotels with illegal aliens who haven't been vetted. And my concern is that we're going to build up um, um, units, I think this building that we're going to make for uh, apartments, 30 units was it? Yes, that's Fox mm -hmm. Run. Okay. My concern is that, um, is there anything, um, any way of preventing a situation where a deal will be cut, where we'll be bringing in people who are coming across the border into ten, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Because that will bring a problem. It will, yeah, we'll be making more taxes. We'll be bringing in more tax revenue if that building gets built. But we could have real big problems down the line. So that's, that, uh, that was a concern of mine. I, I uh, totally agree with you on that. Um, and I don't know what, if anything, we can really do proactively on that. But I, you know, I would look at the flip side is that affordable housing is, you know, such a critical, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say need. right now, need yeah. right now, that I, I just don't know that there'd be opportunity yeah. to house them. Yeah, I, I have know? no problem. Like, if we're housing our own, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. we have a problem yeah. here and that the, we have to solve. And the Fox Run is, is a, product, is a um, build of, um, what's the organization? I can't Down Street. Remember. Down Street Housing, and they typically... I, I, I don't think that they would, that's something that they typically would get involved in. I mean, I think it's, it's really geared toward workforce housing. Um, the hospital has expressed a huge need for housing located nearby because oftentimes the lower paying jobs can't afford mm -hmm. housing and cars and that allows them the ability to walk to work if they need to. Um, so the idea, I mean, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but 
based on the, the builder and the, and the people that will operate the facility, I, I don't think that would be a concern. All right. Okay. No, I think I, I in down the short run, is, anyway. Yeah. Down Street, I think, is more interested in long term. Yes. Not short term. Yes. Mm -hmm. And meeting the needs of Vermonters, I think, is really um, a key thing for them. So. Okay. Yes, sir. What would be considered low income? Welfare, maybe? No. This, I, this I is think. a workforce housing. It's not um, like um, geared toward, which is, I think, uh, is different than some of the subsidized housing. Um, I'm not an expert in this area. No, I don't no. pretend to be, but my understanding, this is what they're calling this is workforce. And um, and there's some market rate housing in there, which means that they need to upkeep, keep up the facility or the market rate units won't get market rate. Okay. <laughs> Basically, from my own reading and stuff, and from my own experience and stuff, when they do build low-class housing, uh, what they're doing is they're trying to change the workforce from local natives to immigrants, migrants, because they work at a lower range, range. and uh, that's something you have to watch out for. I mean, whoever owns shares in the companies that build them is benefit from it. You know, there's a lot of behind the scenes dealing going on with everything today. Forever, you know, it's always been like that. Anyway. Well, so, uh, I think sometime along here, we're going to have, uh, we'll have, uh, Ask Down Street to come in and give us an update, and we can express your concerns then. Well, I'm interested in basically people who have shares in the company you're talking about. You know, is it on your stock exchange? Is it the, uh, the I don't know if it's a pub. I don't know if it's a. I think it's it's not a it's a, it's a Vermont. I, I haven't heard of. I'm any. not sure what type of entity it is. I believe. I think I think to her. Are they a non-profit? Non maybe. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're not on the stock exchange. No, no, no. No, I don't, I don't believe so. Okay. No, I do not believe so either. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, did you have anything else you want to add? Nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to come down and speak yeah. about my concern about the building and who is going to be coming into the town. You know, you want to bring in the tax revenue, but you don't want a problem. You sure. know, and you don't want a downside that you're not looking at here. There's any way of preventing that. Any other public comment? If not, we'll move on to uh, to uh, convening the charter change hearing. A motion. I make the motion to convene the charter change hearing at this time. A second. A discussion. Hearing none. We are now in the public hearing. Uh, Berlin is considering the following changes to its charter. Shall the Berlin Town Center be hereby amended as follows? Uh, section 3.2, Powers of the Town Edition, Paragraph D as follows. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% sales tax. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% rooms tax. And the Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% meals and alcohol beverage tax. Uh, this tax will be on, imposed under the authority of this section shall be collected and administered by the Department of Taxes in accordance with 24 BSA 138. Um, revenues received through this imposition of tax shall, in this section shall be designed for capital projects within the town. Any comments? Any questions? Is there a piece online? Uh, I'll, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, no, but nothing online. Um, I guess, if I may, um, what we're looking at doing here. Uh, for everybody's benefit is um, currently, you know, Berlin's population is around 2,900, uh, but during the day our population swells to around 12,000 between all the employers in town, the hospital, and, and all the commercial enterprises and everything like that. Uh, all these 
you know, out of town people are using the services of the town. We're having to maintain and plow the roads and, you know, provide a uh, police force and everything like that. But they do not provide anything towards our property tax base. Um, so all of the town expenses, uh, you know, which we're going to be talking about later on tonight with the, you know, with next year's budget is basically entirely borne by the property tax payers of, of the town. Uh, this, these three components of the options tax, the sales tax, meals tax, and rooms and alcohol tax is an opportunity to get these out of town residents to contribute towards uh, the required expenditures of the town. Um, we're looking at, um, and, and this would provide, based on the state tax department, about $600,000 a year of additional revenue. And our proposal is to use this for, as, as the chair mentioned, uh, capital projects, which is uh, vehicle and heavy equipment, uh, you know, the, the snow plow trucks, the police vehicles, the road graders and loaders and things like that, uh, paving of the roads, uh, culvert maintenance, bridge maintenance, all sorts of things like that, um, which typically we spend between $300,000 and $500,000 a year on, um, which is not enough to keep pace with the expenses that, that we should be to keeping these items in, in good condition. Uh, so we don't, not faced with a situation like the Lover's Lane Bridge where, you know, due to the deferred maintenance, it's now been closed for four or five years at this that. point and mm -hmm. probably at least another year before it's reopened. So we can be more proactive in, in getting, um, these uh, these these needs taken care of. Uh, and I'll just add that I think being proactive <coughs> reduces the cost overall because when there's an emergency, like when the culvert fails, it's going to cost more than if it was, you know, done on a schedule. So. Mm -hmm. um, here again, the state tax department. Um, estimates that between three quarters and 85 percent of this revenue would be paid by out-of-town residents um, so we're you know so we're definitely looking to capitalize on that now keep in mind some things that are not included in this and which are not subject to the state sales tax are uh, groceries uh, clothing and shoes um, drugs and medical supplies, motor vehicles, uh, gasoline and diesel fuel, and residential farm, residential and farm utilities. Um, and probably the biggest, you know, question is, so we, we do implement this and, and we've got this additional revenue coming in. How can you be assured that we as a select board are spending this money in a responsible manner and keep in mind that any expenditures of these funds will still be um, you know vetted to you through the annual budget voted at, at the town meeting so you'll still have the opportunity to weigh on those those expenditures including not making you know any or that that much that year and saving it for an additional rainy day fund <clears throat> Um, some day-to-day -day impacts of this fund. Um, you know, you go to the you go to the grocery store down the street, and uh, you buy uh, you know you buy some uh, some chicken and potatoes and lettuce and bread. You know, you're going to cook dinner <coughs> for tonight. Uh, invite me over if you would, please. Um, you would pay nothing extra on that because those items are not taxed as you know the sales tax. That would not be subject to the um, local options tax. Uh, likewise, uh, let's say you go out, you go out to uh, to dinner and you go to a fast food restaurant for your family, and, 
you buy uh, four meals, you know, d uh, burgers, fries, and drinks, and that comes out to forty dollars. You would pay an additional forty cents on that meal for for uh, the options tax. And if you do that once a week, every week for a year, it'd be a total of twenty-one additional dollars over the course of the oh, course of the year. Um, you know, that's that's the power that this this one percent. Uh, can provide to the town over the course of a year. Um, I do see a question in the chat. How do I? Chat. For my folks at the Wayside Restaurant, I would imagine it would be significantly more than 600000 um, <laughs> We would hope so, and with the, uh, you know, growth coming into the town, we do expect that number to increase, but uh, based on the numbers we're getting from the state tax department, um, that's, that's what we've got so far. That's interesting because the wayside is in both towns. <laughs> so. yeah, well, the, where do they say the, the, the restaurant part is in the is in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> the cash register is in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the parking lot is Montpelier, but the even the so-called Montpelier side of the of the wayside is still in Berlin. I've been told. <laughs> now I do have a question for the wayside. I know you have a fundraiser coming on tomorrow night. Uh, if you wanted to uh, jump on and say anything about that. That would be wonderful. I don't see, you're muted if you, oh, here you go. Sorry, I'm not very good with Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're working with Union Moot. Union Mutual, uh, they have a penguin plunge team for the, the raise money for the Special Olympics. So we're working with them tomorrow night to, to donate a portion of the proceeds from the evening sales. Oh, nice. That's wonderful. So I'll throw it out right now. I'll pay $200 if I can pour a glass of ice on Alex's head. I would let you do that for free. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I would be willing to pay you to do that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else concerning the public hearing? If not, I'll entertain a motion to close it. I make the motion to close the hearing at this time. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 The motion carries. And the charter change public hearing is closed. Um, okay. This the year 25 budget option. So, um, we hammered a lot of things out last week, and the final numbers come in at four million five hundred fifty-eight thousand two hundred seventy-six dollars. So, Flo found a error in my spreadsheet. Um, we got it corrected, so thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you both. Um, so you are, so really no changes to the budget itself from what we discussed last week, and I will make the motion to adopt. Your second? Second. Any further discussion? Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record as um, I, 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 I know we have to cut, and I'm not opposed to the cuts. I do. I did send an email that you all saw that I, I just had concerns that due to the uncertainty, I thought it might be worth considering financing a large purchase equipment as opposed to paying for it um, to provide flexibility in the budget. Um, and I know I'm. this is new to me. I acknowledge that. Um, but I felt like it would give us a little bit more flexibility. And so uh, this is a precursor to my vote. <laughs> well, my, uh, my counter to that is um, we do have the funds reserved for this piece of equipment. Reserved but not restricted, um, I, I they understand. Are, they, are, they are restricted. How they are restricted to highway equipment. 
Oh, I did. So, so I guess I mean, it's, not re it's, not it's not restricted to the loader versus a grader or something down the road, but it is restricted for highway equipment. And how does that work? I didn't understand that. When, when you put forth a budget such as this one, uh, once the town votes. So this it, was from before? Yeah, correct. The money is then okay. locked into what is. What is okay, I was understanding for. it was being part of this new request. So I, I misunderstood that. Then. Okay. So I thought, I thought it was money we were setting aside, new money that we were setting aside. And one of the things we want to remember, even though, even though if you were to borrow money for that, or for whatever piece of equipment or whatever you want to call it, um, with the interest rates today, you are going to be, it's going to be costly money. Right, and I recognize that, but I guess my thought was, you know, that can be, you know, assuming everything goes well, that can be paid, you know, you don't have to go the term, you can pay it yeah. off. Um, it's yeah. not something that you're set, that's set in stone. So it was just, I, you know, I struggled with this all weekend because I had such a, was so traumatized <laughs> by that last meeting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and I did still put my petition in, but um, anyway, so that was that's my only comment. And, and if that's restricted and it is reserved pre by a previous vote, then I will support the budget. Did you happen get a chance to talk to Connie Banks today, or I didn't hear back. From okay. Them. So I emailed community because that's who we do most of the stuff yeah. with, and she was going to look into it, but hadn't gotten back to me. So. Any other comments on this? So just to clarify, the reserve is the 253000 Am I correct on that number? The 253000 for the loader will come out of reserve, previously mm -hmm. reserved funds, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And then, then the implication on the tax rate, then we've got ARPA funds and other things we'll be looking at as well. But, you know, that'd be a discussion on June or exactly. Early July. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks for the third time. Thank you so much. And thanks for all your efforts and all your thorough review and <laughs> asking the questions. It's important. Thanks. And I'm glad you put your petition in. <laughs> <laughs> Any other Joe? <laughs> Any other comments? No comment. All those I'm sick of looking at this. Aye. Aye. <laughs> all those in favor? <laughs> Our resounding eye. <coughs> Motion carries. Um, March 24th, I mean March uh, 2024 uh, town meeting warning adoption. So um, this is pretty straightforward compared to other, you know, based on other years. The and Article 2 is the uh, the budget we just adopted, Article 3, is the um, charter change, local yeah. options tax. Uh, option, f uh, option, Article 4 <laughs> is um, the, the at this point, the appears to be a tentative agreement with Geary Hotels for the Purchase of the 1.5 acres. Um, Article 5 is authorization to borrow for flood repairs uh, for the coming year. It's just it's just authorization. I mean, it's not a sure thing, but it's, it's just a flexibility for the select board if, if we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, then our Article 6 through... 26 are the appropriations, including wow. Article 6 to 424, 296 for the fire department. And these and the above were all on Australian ballots. Uh, voted on that Tuesday, the 4th. Yes, okay. And then uh, starting with Article 27 is the traditional floor vote for town meeting. Uh, on Saturday, March 2nd, uh, the moderator reports to town officers. Uh, Article 29 is the quarterly payment of the uh, property taxes. And uh, it should be noted on here that February, uh, my, uh, February 15th is actually a Saturday. <coughs> um, but luckily at our, at our last meeting, the chair asked our 
uh, candidates that they'd be willing to work on each Saturday, and they both said yes. So I guess we're going to be <laughs> having people here. Or uh, the treasurer has stated that as long anything that's in the lockbox when she arrives that Monday morning will be counted as on time. Uh, then Article 30, shall the voters of the Town of Berlin call upon the United States Postal Service to establish a post office and zip code within the town to serve its residents and businesses. So that's be something new. And any other business that may legally become before the meeting? Um, if our town clerk would like to add anything or? I don't have any additions. Thank you for summing that all up. That was perfect. Um, yeah, if you all agree to this, don't have any changes, I'd just be looking to get signatures today. Um, and then we can order ballots. <laughs> That's wonderful. Rachel, I have a question. Sure. Is there an, is there an absentee ballot? There, there's going to be. It hasn't been printed yet. Um, the only ballots we have on hand right now is for the presidential primary. So those are available um, for absentee right now. And then these should be done no later than February 14th. <laughs> when do you have to request them? Sorry. So moved. Second. What was the card? I was just going to say, when did you have to request absentee ballots by? You can request them right up until 3.30 the day before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And uh, assistant treasurer appointment. Uh, if we care to go into an executive session and come out and vote? Uh, I think it probably would be a good idea to go into executive session quickly. Um, and I will make that motion. Um, to enter an executive session regarding the assistant treasurer appointment uh, under 1 BSA 313A3. And I do anticipate a decision tonight following this executive session. And I second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. We're in executive session. Okay. Um, we have an. Uh, we have a person of uh, for. Well, we have interviewed a person for the assistant town treasurer, and we would like to offer uh, Shelley Rue the position as of the uh, assistant town treasurer. Uh, I have a motion on that. I make the motion that we hire Shelley Rue for assistant town treasurer. A second. Any discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Is this your yes, thank you. Sorry. And let's see here. You've got uh, warrants. Warrants. Yeah, warrants. I make the motion to approve payable warrant 24G17 with check number 23681 to 23690 in the amount of $75,529.05. Also payroll warrant 24-17. For payroll from January 14th to January 28th, 2024, paid on January 31, 2024, in the amount of $67,910.56. And the Berlin Volunteer Fire Department selections orders from November of 2023 as well. A second. Any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And what was the other one? Uh, I have a lot of signatures I need from all of you on stuff that was that was previously approved, but just not, signed. not signed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Mr. Chair, um, I did receive an email uh, regarding the options tax during the meeting um, from Cedric Sanborn. Uh, just as food for thought, the one percent sales tax will also be collected from each business in town as businesses pay the Vermont sales tax on both their electric bill and their heating bill oil slash propane. It's not just free money collected from out of town shoppers. Thank you, Rick Sanborn. So just 
reading that for the record. So it's only residential and farm that's it's not collected on the electric. Cause it's just on the state thing you read, it seems like it said something about electric and heating. That must have been residential. And I'm going to say residential and so agricultural. So commercial it applies to. This is yours. Thank you. Well, I'm Do assuming I'm assuming yes. that the that the tax anybody who's using the purchase as an expense, <laughs> like if you buy gas for your business, it becomes the business expense. That's true. Right. So. So that, that would that's going to that'd be the only reason that, they, that you would collect a tax on on um, fuel on heating fuel and whatnot. Now, don't we all feel good of everything that's been accomplished tonight? And everything leading up to it, to her. <laughs> Put in a lot of effort. Tori, I left this here for you. Up there, Pip. Oh. Bad news to Tom. <laughs> about his about the planning commission. Oops, you want me to I got to sign this one oh. two places. <clears throat> so I take a tour, I sign it somewhere in here. Uh, oh, let's see if those were already all signed. I think they were. I don't see any place else. Uh, yeah, there was. was <laughs> I broke Pine Hill to three of my neighbors. They were unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> then I asked to borrow their newspaper. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. We actually, we used to get the newspapers delivered and um, it just expired. And now there's an offer being made. My husband said, we should get that started back up again. Yeah, I agree. was excited. We haven't adjourned yet, have we? No, no, we haven't. No. I didn't think so. We're still, we're still, we're still putting ink to paper. Still on the record. <clears throat> okay. Anything else to come before the board tonight? Technically, the there is no adjournment on the agenda, so I don't think we can adjourn. What well, a bet! <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Entertain the motion to adjourn. Continue I make the motion to adjourn tonight's select board meeting. I'll second that. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries.